Hey, everybody, and welcome back to Chat with AP. I'm your host, Amanda Pierch, and fellow Curious Mind. This is where we kick back, have fun, and dive into all kinds of conversations, whether it's business, life hacks, marketing, podcasting, or just a bit of random banter. Get comfy and let's see where today's chat takes us. I am here at Thrive and Swanee, past each other in the hallway, and we started betting burpees and come to find out he is a Georgia foodie. I won, by the way. I did 58. He did 42. Tell (laughs) (laughs) And I am talking to my new friend and foodie, Nathaniel Johnson. We were having a conversation about uh, gear because you two are a gear guy. Well, we're a YouTube channel and a PR company and a marketing agency and they anyways what we're doing about the talking about the mics is our youtube channel recordings we have a youtube called georgia foodies welcome to chat with ap i am nathaniel johnson all right so you work here at thrive and what are you doing other than wandering the hallways and making new friends i am thriving <laughs> we thrive and it thrives, <laughs> but it's not five. We're not thriving at five. Yeah. People say, what are you doing? I thrive. I thrive. I thrive. No, yeah. I mean, usually when I'm here, I'm working with my well clients like Adobe, Microsoft. So I do, I run a marketing automation uh, agency, usually for Fortune 500 companies and above. Okay. Very cool. And I'm looking at a card that says Georgia Foodies. So uh, I like food. I like yes. to eat, and I'd consider myself a foodie, a connoisseur. Uh, so oh. tell me what you do in that world. Well, Georgia Foodies, we started it 13 years ago as a event platform. And so it started out on meetup.com, just as a meetup. Hey, let's meet up and have food. So, and then it grew and grew and grew. And then I moved to China for two years and built a food company in China that was called Shenzhen. Hold on. When did you move to China? This is very important at this um, time. 2016. This time okay. It's irrelevant. I was there from 2016 to 2020. Came back 2020 and got stuck here because COVID and stuff. And so now then I realized I couldn't go back home. So I was like, hey, I'm stuck in Georgia. Let's, you know, rebuild the food thing here. So I rebranded and created Georgia Foodies as a media company, whereas before it was just a um, basically like a meeting meetup group. So we turned it around and rebranded it, made it into a full-blown PR agency. And that's what we are today. And how do you generate revenue? Basically, we charge for PR. We have software that we have in-house that controls like a restaurant, basically restaurant CRM platform that we've developed. So on top of the CRM, day-to-day, social media marketing, digital marketing, push messaging, automations for restaurants, we also do a ton of media. Like our YouTube channel is basically paid media. Um, our Instagram is paid media. Like all of our channels are basically paid media and we're everywhere. So LinkedIn, Reddit, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. We have TikTokers on our team. We have uh, Twitchers on our team. We have everybody. Do you do the videography? Yes. We do most of our videography ourselves using a ton Mm -hmm. of DJI drones and equipment. We have a drone guy. We have a real person. We have, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, We have a pretty good team of social influencers all in their own, with their own little superpower, I guess that makes it all come together. Are you doing any hiring? In a sense, we always are bringing on more people. Well, I'm seeking a CTO role. Cost. (laughs) Technology? Chief tasting officer. So as you, as you are out there in the field, I'm sure you get to see a lot of Pretty tasty things. And maybe you get to indulge while you're out there? Uh, well, you know, I'm on a strict diet. But yes. Okay, so maybe I could just come video. along <laughs> and formally be your chief tasting officer. You hey, don't have works. to pay me dollars because I can get paid in bites. Oh, definitely. definitely. <laughs> CTO, <laughs> chief tasting officer. That's, All right. That's the unique thing about Georgia Foodies. It grew itself. And we have a team now of over, we have a group of over 65 influencers. Um, and our internal team is about 12 people and they all kind of make with it what they want because it's, it turned from an idea to a platform. Mm-hmm. And because it's a platform, 
a lot of foodies have joined it and kind of built their own brands outside of it or around it, if you will. Mm-hmm. So everybody on our team is their own brand. Everybody on our team earns from it their own special way. Um, some people use it for events. Some people use it for content generation. Some people charge restaurants for just Instagram. Um, but yeah, it's be- because we have such a strong following and such a strong presence. And I told everyone, hey, you know, um, if you want to use it, use it. And so it became kind of its own platform. We have over three terabytes of content. So people usually just jump in and use our content and nice. spread our content. As long as they tag us and say where they got the content from, we're okay. That's how we grow. And that is the same love that I expect from you when I release this show. Oh. <laughs> Tag me. All right, now we're going to play the rapid fire. And this is, we already determined, you and I are of the same wavelength. And that is not ordinary. Okay, <laughs> there are people that are neurotypical. I am a neurodivergent. I very forwardly asked you if you were too. I don't know if you are. But that said, my brain works differently. So this is the rapid fire section oh my goodness. <laughs> of our interview. I need All more right. coffee. We are at Pepe's and we're going to eat Mexican for lunch. And the server brings guacamole, salsa, and queso. What are you dipping your chip in first? Oh, man. Guac. Guac? Yeah. Okay. And then what? Then queso. And then? I mean, salsa. Nice. Salsa is the last. Okay. I'm ah. queso, salsa, then guac. Because if I'm usually eating at a place, I'm a wimp when it comes to spice. So they're going to be like, hey, here's some salsa made out of like red chilies or something. And I'm going to die in you know, no one wants that. I don't want that. <laughs> okay, okay. So, so um, if you walk into a room and there are four people standing there facing the corner, who do you approach first? I mean, probably the one leading them. <laughs> the one leading them. The one closest to the corner. Like, how did you get here? How did you get and here? Why, why are we facing away? the wall? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, gas or electric vehicles? Well, no. Um, yes. Hybrid? Answer. <laughs> yes. I'll say, but it's kind of funny because I literally have a Tesla. A right Tesla there. sitting right out there. But okay. This is day number one. I'm testing the Tesla. Today is your first day driving your Tesla? Well, I'm testing it. Okay. I was going to buy... For those of you that can't see, he's parked it directly out front so we can see it from the window. I was going to buy a certain Tesla, but then I was like, well, I'm never, I'm usually a hybrid person. So let me just rent it first. See if I like it. And if I like it, I'll buy it. And I'm on day number one mm-hmm. with it. So far, it's okay. So far, Are it's you okay. going to get a different color? Or are you going to stick with that? Uh, that I'm, one? I'm sticking with gray, different model. It's a model S is what I'm trying to get. Gotcha. But, um, so, yeah, if it works out well, then I will buy one Friday. If it doesn't work out well for me, then I'm probably, not gonna, I'm probably gonna stick with hybrid. Okay. So. I dig it. All right. If you could tell your 25 year old self anything, what would it be? I would just tell myself to think smarter and work for, I don't spend too much time trying to make money, but Hmm. learn how to make money with less time. I like that. Okay. And then lastly, did you leave China with the ability to speak Chinese at all? Uh, (laughs) Doya, washer, Zhongwen, Chabadola, for those Chinese listeners. My Chinese is okay. Okay, very nice. All right, parting words, final thoughts for our people out there. Well, you know, just follow us on YouTube, youtube.com slash at Georgia Foodies, and definitely find us on Instagram as well at Georgia Foodies. Visit amandapierch.com to learn more about purpose driven podcasting.